This dude's neck is wild. Stephen, do not color your hair blue. It does not go with the MAGA brand. Color it red. Bonus meme alert. Obama. Can I ask why you don't install Adblock exactly? Because I expect people to support me, so I support content that I watch. If I gave you examples of you being hypocritical, would you then install Adblock? I'm sure I've been hypocritical. I'm not a perfect person, but why wouldn't I try when I can? Because uh, this is something that is uh, inconveniencing us. So I don't mind if you... In, I, in fact, I would be willing to bet that on your home PC, mm -hmm. you do have Adblock. Nope. I, 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 I can't... I don't know if I believe that. So you're saying on your non-streaming computer, Shut you haven't up, installed Dan. Adblock. Yeah, I usually don't have many add-ons at all. If you've known me, you have known me. You know me. I don't like to usually put mods or shit on anything. It was only just recently I started even modding games. Okay, well, the only thing I run is uBlock. That's the only extension that I have. Um, but l let me ask you another thing. Mm -hmm. Why don't you play for? Why don't you pay for uh, YouTube Red or whatever the fuck it is that gets? I have YouTube completely. Red. Why don't you pay for Twitch Premium? I had Twitch Premium, but I'm banned, so I can't make another account. It'll count as a ban invasion. Just literally having it and not... Why would I give them an excuse? Like, I understand what you're saying, because I would otherwise, but it's just, I could see them saying like, well, you made a new account and you were watching people on stream and blah, blah, blah. It's technically ban evasion. Can't you still log into your Twitch account? Only on the appeals page. What happens if, so do you get logged out when you go to twitch.tv? Um, I don't think anything, I don't think it'll let you. It'll just say your account's suspended, you can't log in. Yep, your account is suspended, you can't log in. Um... You know you can block ads on a DNS level by changing your DNS provider. To who? Um, I think... Who does that? Does, um... Oh my god, someone in chat help me. Uh... Piehole? No, I, that's if you add a, um... You can put, like, a device in between, but there's also, like, just you can just change your DNS. So I think AdGuard is what... Yeah, AdGuard. So you basically change your DNS provider and then all advertising servers are just you know they don't go anywhere and then you can um you can do it so that's another option if you didn't want to install an extension um okay i like watching ads i'm supporting the content i'm enjoying for free um you're supporting the content but you're not though right yeah i'm watching an ad just like i expect my viewers to watch my ads How's life in uh, Dan's world today? Jesus. You know, it, it's going okay. Um, uh, how's life oh going God. in Steve's world? Yes, an ejection. Wow. At Damn, first... that, that seat comes down real fast. Holy shit. Well, doesn't it weigh like 100 pounds on top of the, what the dude weighs too? Well, yeah, but he's got a parachute, but this looks like, dam like body damage if you fall this fast. Or maybe it's because they're supposed to be flying higher usually. Hold on, Banksy! No, no, we're doing this right here. This is either you survive or you get banned permanently. I will, I will leave the community before I do. We're gonna get on and we're gonna argue about this because it seems Banksy that you're pretty, you're really smart when it comes to DNS. You obviously know more about technology and things in general than I do, right? I mean, I didn't own and run one of the largest data centers in the United States. You know more, so come on, come hop on. You're a really smart dude. You know, you can beat me, right? You know more. Let's do it because if you don't, I'm fucking evicting you. From this, you'll never be back. I promise you that. Damn. I, I just, I get so fucking triggered by this shit. I don't, I really shouldn't. I, I should just accept that people in chat are fucking morons. It's and Dan. They're gonna say shit. He's here. Trigger me Great on purpose. Great to have you, Dan. But it's just, you know, it's Love just you, so. Buddy. It's just Dan. so. Uh, He's so hot right now. You know, Dan. I, I need to, I need to work on that part for me a little bit here. You know. <clears throat> yeah. We can respect it. Yeah. Um, what do you what do you think is gonna happen with Mr. Girl stuff coming up here? Because I I've seen some stuff in the last well since I got up here a few things that, that have come up. So number one is that Lav is uh, saying that she's not gonna come on your stream anymore. Is that right? Um, Lav is turbo butt mad. Um, wait, why? What happened? <clears throat> because I I lost it with her in one conversation because she just is. The smug posting was killing me. 
like I was, I think I was in the middle of trying to explain the difference between like a lie and not just and just being wrong about something. And she just she constantly needles and needles and needles and needles. And I was in the middle of explaining it, and I was like, "Well, a lie is different." Than, and she's like, "No." Which embeds. And as soon as she said, I lost. Dance, it. I was like, "You work. need to shut the fuck up and let me finish a fucking sentence." Um, I got triggered as fuck. And then she's like, "You called me a bitch, and that enabled a lot of misogyny against me, and now I hate you." I was like, "Okay, well, knock yourself out." Wait, so she was actually upset about the? Um... Yes. You think she's actually upset? You think she's faking? No, upset. I think she's actually upset. She's one of those women that Wait, hate that, it when you call worse? her like a bitch. But Wait, like, really? even though she was calling Cherry a bitch and she was saying shit like, "Okay, hold on." Thoughts on her saying you acted differently in real life? Yes, because in real life we weren't there to debate or argue about anything. No fucking shit. It wasn't a real life meeting to be like, "Hey, I'm gonna argue with you about your blah blah blah." No, we were just hanging out. No, of course it was different in real life. What? A, I don't know why she would say that. Obviously, it's gonna be different. And if she's faking it, then she can go fuck her. Well, I mean, I think if you're gonna, um, I don't know. It's hard. You can never know. That's the other thing. Like, because it, it's the Vlad perfect actually thing to does get upset about, and then the like, uh, here for buddy of the year. not be able to get called out on it. If that makes sense. Wait, say that last part again. When people call you a bitch, like that's the type of thing you could feign being really upset about, and then. No, she was. That's why I messaged her after because I could tell she was like. Like triggered. Okay, why is everyone dodging Banksy? Like I, I yell at fucking people in chat. But fine, if you guys really want this so much, we can go talk. To <laughs> oh them. no! All right, no, I want to know why DNS. Go uh -oh. ahead, hop in. Like, Man. dude, if, am I not going to be able? To, am I not going to be able to yell at people in chat anymore without talking to each one of these fucking degenerates? Well, you kind of, right, you kind of Omega called him out. To be All right, fair. T one, T one waiting room. Let's go. Or, or uh, any of the channels. What's this fucking degenerate's name? Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh my god. This is video. How is she not more mad at Max? Because she's a massive Max simp. She's like, that's like her fucking mission in life, I think. I'm not adding anyone. They need to fucking join the Discord. What? I'm not going into a private call. They can join. I can drag them in this channel. Hello? No, this person is being... All right. Tell me why I'm retarded that he can't do DNS for ad blocking. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's pretty simple. The ads come from the exact same place where the actual Twitch media comes from. Like... That's, That's for it. one source. I said in general, YouTube, everything uh -oh. else. What? Wait, how sure? How sh Okay, ads in general have ad servers like media source dot advertising. They're, they're dot blocked on a different level. Like, there's a reason why uBlock Origin can block all of these. They're already getting past DNS, and they're they make it onto your home router. And that is ad block in the browser. Some, blocks it. Okay, first off, there are some that are served on the same source. Are you saying that most ads are on the same source? Because that's not true. In fact, I'd be willing to say that not only is that not true, I would say that 99% of ads are on a separate uh, domain that can be blocked. If that were true, why can't I just install any ad blocker and never have any ads without issue? There's a reason why the purple screen of death and all that shit exists on oh, Twitch. Well, that, that's easy. It's because extensions can't mess with your DNS. They can only mess with what the browser can do. I that's think what I'm only... saying. They come yeah, from so the same servers blockers, where the actual content is coming from. It is from. not true most of the time. You're, you're literally just being wrong. Most of the time. Yes, most of the time. I'm giving huge things. You know, I'll even go down. I'll say 90% of the time they're served from a separate advertising domain. Ooh. Yeah. Like like, like ads.googlepublication.com. That's right, not but, like google.com. But, but what? But what, you, what you don't understand is that once the Tell ads Tell me I are, don't understand as someone who works in the ad industry. I'm trying and, to, okay, I'm trying yeah, to but you're doing the thing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty simple. Uh -huh. Once the ads are already in your browser and uBlock Origin is working with filtering out certain ads, they've already made it past your DNS. There's no, there's no DNS at that level. Ooh. Are you, first off, Steve, shut the fuck up because you just are making noise. What you just said makes no sense. Once it's past your DNS, I'm literally saying for him to go and do DNS that blocks those ads. What are you talking about? No, but the whole idea is that you can't block the ads without blocking Twitch content as well. Like. Those two things are mutually exclusive. That is one source. We're talking about in general. He says he doesn't want to have ad block in there because he doesn't want to do extensions. I say, well, do DNS. It's not going to work for every fucking source. But we're not talking Just about like, in general. We're talking no, about we Twitch. No, we're, we're obviously not. We're... talking about Twitch because he was on Twitch and you just asked him why you he isn't Twitch premium. You are trying no, you're wrong to... and now you're going to do No, I'm not. Yeah, go for we it. we go can for go it. watch it right now. I was saying, why don't you install an ad blocker? And he says, because I like supporting... Uh, 
websites. I want people to watch my ads, so I watch their ads. That's very specifically what he said. It wasn't, why don't you have an ad blocker made for Twitch that, to Twitch that, ad That's not Shut the why fuck he up. does it. No, you're just wrong. He just he, said why he, he, he does it. Because he doesn't want to get be ban evading. That's so obvious. Otherwise, he would obviously have an ad blocker. He just said why he doesn't have an ad blocker. Why are you trying to say, Steve, go I'm, ahead and I'm say why. I'm telling you. It's because okay, you want to be ban evading. Steve, why do you not have an ad blocker installed on your browser? I don't have... The ban evading thing was why I don't have a Twitch Turbo account. I don't have an ad blocker because I like to support creating. As I fucking yeah. said, pipe the fuck down, Lecro. Okay, hold on. Now let me sort well, through this as a tech, semi-tech literate person to figure out what the fuck you guys are talking about, okay? Dan is talking about blocking things at a DNS level. So my guess is, tell me if I'm wrong, you're telling me, Dan, that there are some DNSs that have probably blacklisted a group of... I, of, of um, name servers that they're not going to resolve to an IP that are all tied to advertising agencies, essentially, right? I'm saying um, that a very large segment of online advertising, so when you browse a website, when you go and you watch a yeah, video- You don't need to give me places. examples of browsing yeah, I'm saying the internet, most of them are, most When of you them, check your email, go yes, ahead. Yes, yeah, most of them are going to have advertising um, that is served from a specific separate domain. Okay, yes. can, okay, Jack, can you answer the question? I don't know why Daniel just say yes to what I said. So the, the answer is yes, what I just said. That's okay, what, fine. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. So the only thing that would prove Dan is a wrong dumb fuck, okay, is what this guy is saying, which is, are the advertisements served from a separate name server or is it coming from server. like ad? Oh, domain. what is it called? Oh, domain. Or is yeah. it coming from like ads.twitch.tv slash xgx? Well, even if it was coming from ads.twitch.tv, you'd be able to block that. But Twitch is one example. I'm talking about all most ads on the internet right here. And most ads on the internet are served from their own domain. That's the reason right now where if you want to block- On, like, a, let's say on a DNS, I don't need examples of anything. Hold on. On a, on a D, on, For DNS filtering, can you filter mm -hmm. subdomains? Yes. Yes. Okay, so if I can filter subdomains and I theoretically have a DNS that I can like route my um, DNS request through, then how is what Dan is saying incorrect? Because we're not, that, that's not what I came here to say. I came here to say that for Twitch in particular, yes, yes. in general. No, 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 no. Let's, act, let's say for Twitch in particular. Why is what Dan's saying incorrect? Well, he's trying to say on Twitch that the, the ad server come from the same media source, which might be the case, but that, that's just Twitch. That's one website among... And like, that's what I'm talking about, which is what well, we were talking about. No, you can't just say that's what we were talking about. I was asking why doesn't he do have an ad blocker in general? Because he gets ads all over the fucking place. It wasn't just on Twitch. Okay, well, I agree with you that he doesn't have ads because he wants to have other people watch his ads and it would be a, a weird message to send. But for Twitch, which is what we were talking about, you cannot block Twitch. I don't know how you're saying all. just Twitch. We were talking about Twitch, like, why is there ads here? And he said, oh, I don't want to do an ad blocker. And I said, why not? And he says, because I want to support creators. But that's for everything, not just for Twitch. I understand Twitch constantly edits their fucking ads to make it impossible to fucking be banned. But that's not going to be... Uh, like the causation of not doing DNS on other places. He doesn't block ads for anything. He doesn't block ads for any website at all. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye, Lecro. Right. See ya. I feel good about that. Good Another job, W. Dude. You just savaged that poor chatter, dude. Well, that's what they get for coming at the king you best not miss. What were we talking about? Oh, fucking, um, can I get back to lav now? Jesus. Yeah, so on. what's going to happen there? I don't I don't know. It's always <clears throat> the decision is never mine. It's always the other people's decision to make. So do you think that they're going to flip flop and come back here or do you think that they're done? Well, I don't think Max hates me. Um and Lav will go wherever Max goes, so. Oh, you know, I did see the thing that Max was saying, which was the idea that um you can never admit when you're wrong. And that you'll always weasel out or something. Yeah. How, do, how do you how do you feel about that statement? Why? Well, it's just it's obviously wrong. So I don't know. What what are some yeah. examples of you losing a debate or just being wrong? I mean, I've changed my mind on a lot of things. I've changed my mind on the whole well, landscape I, of like political, um, like 
how politics works in the United States. The idea that our political system is actually pretty effective at expressing the will of the people and the issue is who votes. Um, I've changed my mind on a lot of voting rights related stuff that I don't actually think are that important um, because it seems like all the data shows that like expanding voting access to people doesn't really change things much. Like if people want to vote, they'll vote. Like having to wait in line a lot longer or having to drive farther doesn't seem to deter anybody, at least from this from the research. Um, yeah, I don't know. The Citizens United thing was a huge thing I kind of changed my mind on. Um, there's been a lot of things that I've like over time. Yeah, money and politics is a thing I've changed my mind on. Um, I had that debate with Lauren where I thought that there were five people that died at the Capitol, the January 6th riots, and I was kind of completely wrong about that. So, I mean, I, I, yeah. Yeah, it just, it just depends. Okay. Um, do you think he would agree that you, not that you change your mind, but that you're just wrong during a debate sometimes? Yeah, sure. I, of course I am. But it's pretty rare that I'm going to change my mind on the spot. I think that's pretty inhuman. No, I just, I, 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 the only thing I guess I'd kind of agree is I do feel like it's hard to ever hear Steven say, like, I got fucking blown up in this debate. I was completely wrong. Looking back at it, like, I just, I just, I mean, there are I things that I've completely facts. changed my mind on. Yeah, of course. No, no, no. But there's, there's not things that you change your mind on. It's just at the time you were wrong, right? And then, well, it's pretty rare. If I'm going to debate something, usually I've done at least some cursory reading first. It's pretty rare that I'm going to have, like, oh my God, I was totally wrong on this. Oh my, this happened. It's just pretty rare. Like, I would say over the writing shit that that was, like... So it like, sounds to me like Mr. Girl thinks that there's, like, a lot of that that happens and that you just will always be like, no, I was right. But I, I well, agree I, that I think that's Well, it sounds more rare. like it's a... He's just upset at the current moderation trend that is, like, opposing him, I guess, but... Yeah. What What's the... What do you think the outcome is going to be from this whole... All this craziness right now? Um, related to Max or yeah, to Max and Lav and this whole fucking suborbiter <laughs> suborbiter bullshit. Um, it's hard to get people to grow and be like introspective and receptive to outside feedback. This is why, like, usually when I watch people, I'm kind of just playing the observer role. I don't take like much of like a mentor role because it would trigger the fuck out of me if people wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> so it's easier for me to just kind of like watch and listen. That's one of the reasons why Lab is very interesting to me. Anybody that's going through like a huge transitionary stage in life is like, that's an interesting thing for me to watch. Um, and so it's interesting to kind of like, like I'll be like a soundboard for Lab or I'll kind of like ask her questions about things and then just watch that development happen. Um, but the issue is... Um, Sometimes people get like stuck in holes and then it's very, 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 very hard for them to get convinced otherwise. And then instead of seeking external like motivation to change or seeking some sort of like um, dialectical conflict, I guess, um, they just start circle jerking and they find people that reinforce all of their own opinions and then they get lost in that. So Lab is kind of doing that. Sneeko hardcore does that. Um, people in general kind of tend towards that. Hmm. Um. Dan, what's your opinion on Mr. Girl saying the orbiters are being taken advantage of? What does he mean when he says that specifically? Because I guess that, you know, involves me. Like, do you know what he means when he says that? Um, he feels like I have too much control over history by banning people in the sub, and that when I get into disagreements with certain orbiters, the reason why people don't like me is because my sub is mean to them, and then I encourage my sub to only have, like, one type of narrative, basically. And that's the abuse that... <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's yeah, quote unquote abusive. Yeah. Interesting. Forsyth has indicated in chat that he has some final solution for the Max problem or something here. He's, there's nothing Destiny or Max can do to change the outcome at this point. What do you think? Well, Forsyth I mean, I the I could theoretically, I could just demod him if I if I. But like, I haven't told him seriously. Like, bro, you need to seriously stop this. I imagine if I did, he would. I kind of like I said, I let him kind of manage his shit on his own, but um. Yeah, I mean, if there was, like, if we had a serious disagreement, I imagine I could tell him, like, hey, this is what we're going to do from now on. Do you imagine it coming to that? Like, let's say Forthought literally says to you, like, listen, Steve, like, I do a lot of free work. You don't fucking pay me. I moderate the shit. I'm the only one. Look at fucking the logs of any other moderator. They Hold don't on, do fuck firstly, all. Hold on, firstly, he you is a it. paid member of the DGG Federation. Okay, fair, fair enough. What about he says? Well, that's an you important, paid, that's you, an important thing, all right? All right, let me, let me yeah, finish. Okay. I'm paid hardly anything. I'm the only one who does anything around here, okay? Look at it. I do 99% of the work. Without me, there's fucking no one. I'm telling you, you need to keep this motherfucker banned or I'm out. Are you pushing that limit? Or are you be like, ah, fine. You know, if you really think it that strongly about it, then fine. Yeah, it would depend. 
Um, well, I'm, I mean, if he said that, that's why I'm, that's I, what I would almost for sure just fire him then. Like, I'm not going to. Oh, you would? Yeah, of course. I'm okay. not going to be like, in, I'm not going to be held hostage by my moderation team. <laughs> what do you mean? No shit. Well, I mean, you, you do, right? Because our TBA and fourth, like, if you unban these people, we quit. You were held hostage and you bowed to that, right? Well, no, I would search for other moderators. RTBA gets a lot more deference because I because I don't pay him, even though maybe I should. I'm not sure. Um, but RTBA gets more deference because of that. But Forethought is literally like he is a paid person that I can give direction to. Like if he doesn't want directions, then he's not going to get paid. But if so RTBA the next time, is like yeah, so the next the time forest, at the end of the year, he does, yeah. at the end of the year, if they do say, like you're like, you know, I want to unban everyone. If they come to you and say, listen, if you unban everyone, we're quitting. Are you going to just be like, all right, fuck you. I'm, I'm unbanning everyone anyways. Or are you going to be like, okay, you guys feel this strongly about it. You know, you're obviously here every day. Forget it. Um, what do you think? Um, I mean, I can all, I can probably find new moderators. It's it's just going to depend on the type of disagreement. Like, if there's a chatter that I feel very strongly, like I don't think this guy should be banned, and I think that you're like on a huge personal vendetta, and you know we're not. This isn't going to stand, and we have a huge split over that. Then yeah, I'd probably like okay, I'm going to find other people. Like this doesn't work, obviously. But mm -hmm. if um. But if uh, but if it's just like a chatter, because like sometimes I have to be advanced people, and I don't really understand why, and then I take a look at it. And I'm like, eh, I, like I feel like we shouldn't ban him, but he he feels like very strong that we shouldn't. And I'll probably just be like, okay, you know, whatever. So what what do you what is the outcome of this Mr. Girl thing then? Because I know he's, I mean, I guess to a certain extent he's pissing you off as well then with this. Um, like it's surpassed. He has a personal vendetta. I'm never Before pissed that. off. I'm I'm okay because technically all of this is happening in my world where I have full control over everything, right? Oh, maybe pissed off is the wrong. Yeah, I mean, like it's here. a little annoying, but like I mean. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Like he's, he's not. Yeah. yeah. He's allowed to represent his interests as much as he wants, I guess. So what do you, what do you think the likely outcome here is? If you were a betting man, right? If you were putting some money on. Yeah, you, you want to know how is it all going to end? Um, my oh, yeah. guess is going to be. That probably in a few days, I'm going to ask Forethought to unban a lot of the people that got banned, or at the very least, going to unban Mr. Girl. Um, he'll probably do another big interview or something, and then the subreddit will make positive posts about him, and then he'll be happy again. But he'll, he might call it the cycle of abuse and say it's not good enough, but I don't know. Yeah, what would be good enough, do you think, for Max at this point? Um, it sounds like he wants, he wants like a total overhaul of how I moderate my community, is what it sounded and like. And that, that's not going to happen, right? No, no, of course not. Not on his behest, no. So if that's not going to happen, it seems like you're placating um, some... Hmm, okay, yeah, interesting. No, I don't think I'm placating at all. Hmm. I thought Lab and Mr. Girl hated each other. What changed there that they... Uh, I think and yes, go Mr. Ahead and Girl, I think at one in. point in time, didn't like Lab, but Lab is like constantly looking for like Mr. Girl's approval. It's like one of the most important things, I think. Really? Yeah. Apparently they talked shit about me yesterday on their stream, so but I still have to watch it. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, we're gonna do that in a minute. Forethought, hop in to Oh, there let me let me pull you in, killer. Hello, Forethought. Hey buddy. I think you can just join this channel. No, I don't have hey. have channel firms. Oh. Hold on one second, Jesus. I can fix that. Oh okay, never mind, Dan can do it. Can you try now? Try leaving and rejoining. Okay. Yo. Okay. Remember, Dan giveth and Dan taketh away. I'll keep that in mind, buddy. Okay. Remember, so, uh, no Jannies. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Girl, like, super fucked up. Um, by declaring war on me specifically and having his community sick on me, like, admins have taken notice. Which is why I said, like, no matter what Destiny does, I have a big red button behind me. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean admins have taken notice? So there was like a comment on uh there's some comments on Mr. Girl subreddit telling me to rope myself and stuff, <laughs> which I don't give a fuck about. This shit is all funny. But uh admins have messaged me <laughs> and like, like admin admins of Reddit, like yes. the owners. Yeah, okay. the yeah. owners. Not so, like, like yeah, gotcha. if Max wants to keep playing ball, I can keep going. Okay, I let's chill. Okay, playing. everybody needs to turn down. I don't want to be the reason is like sub gets banned or you be the reason. That's not cool. Listen. What? I'm not I'm not pushing any buttons. I'm just saying that's what's on the table. Okay, now when you say that, it kind of sounds like I could sell you some security or not, and your legs might get broken. That's what it sounds like when you say that. Did I mention that Tanya Harding is actually my neighbor? No, Dan, you haven't mentioned Wait, that. Wait, what? Okay, what is that? that? Was okay, she broke someone's knees for... Never mind, forget it. Good, Good one. Old. What? Just 
forget I say anything. Everyone understood that reference, Dan. That was really funny. Okay. Never mind. But uh, yeah, so if he wants to keep going doing this fucking obnoxious shit, he can. Uh, I don't know what his like end goal is, but beyond like making the subreddit his, um, I don't think there's any way for him to like actually come to any sort of compromise or resolution, or even understand like why we don't fucking want to deal with that shit. Well, he just can I, like chill. Can, can I ask you for thought? What's going to happen in three days? Are you just gonna, are you going to comply when Steve's like, hey, unban Mr. Girl? Probably. I don't really give a shit that much about Mr. Girl. I'm just tired of his fans. And okay, what about if he says un un unban all of Mr. Girl fans as well? Yeah, probably not. That's a lot of work. So you, you'll no, say, if, if you want to do it, you do it yourself, basically, is what you're doing. Um, De If Destiny wants me to unban all his fans, I can unban most. A few of them. Eh, I'm thinking about it. Most of the people I was banning were some version of Kill Yourself or a Janny joke, so I'm like, eh. Then calling somebody a Janny is okay. Doesn't that sound a little Jansphobic? I actually don't give a shit about the Janny jokes. As long as it's funny, like, you won't be banned. It's all good. But, uh, I had... Well, who, who, who determines if it's funny or not, right? Well, who and watches the watch... hammer. Yeah, oh, the guy boy. With the band hammer, duh. Who watches the watchers? Yeah, not good. Well, um, okay. So, overall, though, um, how do you feel, Forethought, about, um, uh, Max's recent, um... I guess reactions and things like red, that. You know, in the last twelve hours. Twelve hours I, I just think he's really stupid and he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, think of what a colossal fucking failure it is to be Max right now. Like, you are a person that does edgy media content and you win the lottery. You find this super edgy orbiter space where that is already known for supporting content creators, and you're already like nuking the bridge. Like, what the fuck? I would say he would feel that he's not nuking the bridge, and instead he's holding Steve into a very of course high, so. high bar and, you know, oh, making Steve be introspective. Oh, I'm about... Mr. Girl. Oh. oh, God. I'm just, I'm so, I'm such an artist. People don't get me. That's the problem. Oh, my fucking God, dude. He will, I don't think there's a way for him to admit he's wrong. Like, actually, on an atomic level. It's more so than Steven, who never admits that he's wrong about anything ever. By the way, now that he's not in here, we can all admit he's never. Oh yeah, said we can all. We, now, now he's gone. We can all say one hundred percent. If you go, and I was thinking about an example with me. If you go back long enough, when first came out, I had a a, a debate with Stephen. I was like, "Hey, people should wear masks," and he's like, "That's fucking stupid. People still touch their face. No one should wear a mask." <laughs> I shit you not. Stephen said this. He said masks are pointless. Okay, you don't need to wear them. Okay, uh, you're gonna touch your face anyways. Dude, we go back and watch it. I swear to God, that exists. Steven, that's fucking wrong. Don't believe that bullshit. Okay. What? I've never heard of it. Yes, N95 mask blocks 95% of incoming shit. I don't understand. Everyone's saying wrong. You're fucking wrong. You're literally wrong. Look at all these people who are wrong. Fucking Google it if you don't believe me. Give me evidence of this. Fucking Google it. Like, are you serious? That's what. Okay. N95 mask locked down to what? Let's see. What micron level? Yeah, so this is what I've heard. That the masks themselves, because you're not as likely to breathe it in. What happens is you touch things, and then you touch your face later on, and that's how you get infected. In which case, the masks doesn't really help you at all. But the only okay, way that like, any five masks would help is if you're in like walking around in an area where people are coughing at you. I don't know what you're saying. The logic you're being saying that don't protect you is that you're going to touch your face. Well, then yeah, sure. I mean, if you're going to stick your hands in your mouth and cut yourself, then yeah, it's not going to work so well. We're not talking about that. We're talking about N95 masks help protect you from catching virus. Yeah, and my understanding is they don't really. Well, you're wrong. We appreciate you signing up for the next orbiter chopping block. Damn. Nah, I because I'll because <laughs> you don't say this to his face. You know, that's how you that's mm -hmm. how you survive. You gotta. It's not just about the things that you do. It's about being able to weasel away at the right moments, you know? And too many people, they don't sense the writing on the wall and, like, scurry off when the fucking rat catcher is in town. You know, you got to be <laughs> listening for the fucking bells of the ice cream truck coming and then, like, not being there. That's the big difference of what's happening, okay? And I feel like uh, too many people don't take all of that into account and then they just go, and they're whoa, like, whoa. what happened? Someone in chat said, Destiny has since said he was totally wrong. This is a bit more knowledge. What are we talking about? What did I miss? No, he meant forethought. Because yeah. forethought was talking mm -hmm. about this fucking, like, crazy shit with Max. But he's, he's saying that Max is, like, not going to change, basically. Do you think that's the case as well? The problem... It's going to sound like I'm talking shit about him. I'm not trying to talk shit about him. I think the problem with Max is that... Um, I think that he's got... I think that he's very intelligent, and I think he's built a lot of systems mentally to make it so he might never have to change himself. <laughs> How do you evaluate intel intelligence? How do I? I mean, there's tons of different types. I, I mean, in the broadest sense, 
I think for human intelligence, it's just like pattern. How quickly can you recognize and like apply a pattern basically, right? Isn't that like in the broadest sense what human intelligence is? Um, that's a definition. My personal favorite definition is that you have an internal model of reality that can or cannot be accurate, obviously more accurate, more intelligent. Mm -hmm. And then you have the ability to update it with new information. Yeah, that and sounds like a more a, high, a more abstract way of basically saying what I'm saying. You've got an internal model model of reality, so there's some like routines, patterns, and shit that work. And then when you see like a new pattern, can you change like your model to reflect it and, and then operate in the world accordingly, basically? Yeah. Of. And my thing is like, I think Max fails on number two super hard. Updating his model. Yeah. Well, that's because he's got. Have I ever said? I think I've said on stream a few times like what my my favorite quote is or whatever that um. I think the quote is like, to achieve perfection is to sacrifice growth. And essentially what the, um, why does this not work as well? What the quote essentially means is that like, if you think that you don't have to change anything, then you're not going to because you're perfect. Why would you? And um, I feel like one of the problems that Max runs into is that like, if somebody says something and he doesn't like the answer, he, there are reasons why they're saying it that they don't understand that Max has the insight to. So like, oh, well, you're just too emotional to have this conversation. Or, oh, you're being abusive. You don't realize it. Or, oh, you're actually upset about this and you don't know. And when he's able to say that to somebody, it lets him like he doesn't have to change his mind about anything. He doesn't have to update any of his like uh, understandings of reality. He can just like tell the other person they're wrong and then keep forcing his view of reality onto them until they either have a breakdown or get frustrated and leave. I think it's like, yeah. Yeah, that seems like a pretty bad way. Yeah, I mean, I would say people. so, yeah. But I, my interest for Max is that he has, like, his whole, like, he's got, like, this whole way of viewing the world that is pretty unique. That's why I think it's interesting. I'm not saying he's got, like, the best way. And obviously, I disagree with a ton of the ways that he applies it. But I just think it's interesting to, um, I, I think that his thought process and everything is interesting. But it is frustrating that he markets himself as, like, my goal on the internet is to, like, be the most empathetic person ever and to build empathy and bridge empathy over and over and over again. But it seems like it's one of the most challenging things he has an issue with. But Yeah, well. What can you do? Uh, I've got nothing else. You guys good? Um, any final thoughts in your opinion of how things are going? Oh, it's been entertaining. It's been a fun weekend. Anything in particular standing out to you? Uh, in particular. Uh, no. Just some of the like cope streams he has crying about like Steven are really funny. Wait, Wait, what am like, I what? missing? Well, hold up. What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. He like, has streams on Twitter. Like, the one where the clips are coming from Max and Stardust talking on the subreddit. Max and Stardust or Max and Lab? Oh, Max and Lab. That's right. I got them all mixed up because I hate women. Stop! That's a bad <laughs> joke now! Take it back. I take it back. Okay. No, don't say that either! I don't even know what we're talking about, but... I'm banning ironic and unironic misogyny from my communities. What, we just can't, like, be mean to women now? Like, what, You can be angel? mean to women! Hold, hold on, don't be frisky. If I say question? we're not going to be racist anymore, and you're like, oh, so I can't even be mean to a black person? Of course you can, just don't call them the N-word. Or do other similar racist shit. We can be mean to women. I love being mean to women. But don't be mean to them because they're women. No one does that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there's a guy, Ryan Aft, that I've seen in your chat who's super like that, but not other people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. Later, guys. All right. Bye. What a great internet mod. That guy's, yeah. a, that guy's a real American hero. Um, as is most janitorial efforts, I suppose. Oh, God. Uh, what else? Big thoughts. Big thoughts. Uh, any movies coming out that I give a shit about? Let's take a quick look. See. Movies. Let's see. Nope. Nothing. No. Yikes. Yeah, that's a bit. Dude, you remember the sad times? It's like the troubles when COVID first started it, and then like we had no new movies for a solid fucking like year and a half. Remember how shit that was? No new TV shows. No new movies. Yep. Nothing. Yep. God, how did we live through that? And we were stuck at home, too. <clears throat> um, Well, <laughs> stuck at home, I mean. <laughs> I'm a gamer. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That was a, that was sad times in life, for sure. Hmm. How do you feel about directors that continually cast the same actors together i don't know i've wondered about that sometimes why are you thinking about the new in bruges movie 
Yes, exactly. I that. knew you but were, I'm, Dan. I felt it in your mind, Dan. I'm connected to your brain. The same thing. Yep, exactly. I don't. I feel it's cheating a little bit, and it takes it away as well. Well, what do like, you think about like Nolan? Because holy shit. <laughs> well, or or I mean, but there'll be like now, four. Nope, or Tarantino. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, See, we'll you're go from connected. one. I know. Hello? We'll go from one movie to the next, and it'll be like five of the same actors, and I'll be like, Jesus, this is kind of weird, but yeah. It, it wouldn't be so bad if it's not like the two main characters interacting mm-hmm. again in yeah. a similar way, you know? And that's, it seems like that's how it is as well in this movie where um, uh, Colin Farrell is like kind of the, you know, loose, jokery guy and the other one's serious, just yeah. how it was in the last movie. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like I'm watching it, like, am I developing like a parasocial relationship with these can not, not real can characters? Can that be a bad term? We're not, we don't use that word anymore, okay? Sorry. Everybody fucking says it. It's so triggering to me. Oh, how do you feel about Mitch saying that he's the true victim of everybody? Um, I don't know. How, yeah. how Did do you, you follow any get, of that how, drama at all or no? I mean, it's been so long, but like, I feel like I have it stored someplace in like the back right of my brain somewhere that I can say. But what, what in particular do you think he could even be coming at to say that he's the victim there? Like, how do you sell that? Is is what I'm asking. I have no idea. Well, you have you have to have an idea roughly what he's saying when he's saying he's a victim. How well, he just he well, I mean, it's standard victim shit. Nobody likes me. Nobody's doing anything for me. Like everybody's taking advantage of me. Nobody's looking out for me, et cetera, et cetera, like that. But I mean, like it's I mean, I don't know if you can ever say that's true in any world whatsoever. But. Mm. Yeah, I just what a fucking. So is this what's what's gonna happen? Here's why I want to know what's gonna happen with Miska. Like, where is this ending? Like, is that the end? Um, with, with Ms. Kev? Yeah, because I think I saw, like, was it last week? There was, like, oh, God, I hope this isn't wrong. I could be wrong on this, but I thought I read that there was not only, in top of all the other shenanigans, that there was something against him on the LSF. Was I wrong? Was that the case or no? Yeah. Are you talking about the drama? Everything? Well, I no. So I know that, like, he had the crazy slick, like, he was covering for crazy slick, mm-hmm. right? supposedly Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then i thought i read on lsf last week that no this doesn't involve crazy slick like this is an allegation specifically against um him oh some other girl came out and wanted to say that he acted inappropriately but that story was so light it was hard to say anything about it How, how do you feel when um organizations do an internal investigation themselves i don't think they are then they get a third party to do it yeah but isn't there like such a huge conflict when you do that? Like, oh, I'm gonna hire, you know, McCransky and Sons to come and, you know, do a sexual assault uh, investigation, but like, you know, the company's paying the bill. You know what I mean? Like, is there, you, you think that should even be allowed like that? Like, how, how does that work, I guess? I don't fucking know. Never mind. No, you're talking about like the credit rating agencies, right? Like, yeah, like I'm gonna pay agency. another agency to rate my shit, <laughs> but you know, hey, if you give me a shitty rating, I'm gonna go to another. Yeah, exactly. Company. No, yeah. no one's gonna ever hire that company again. Like when you know, like let's say there's could. an independent investigation company known for being really, really, really fucking good. Like, do you want to hire no. that company to yeah. investigate your no. own people? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I think it's kind of like, um, you know, fucked a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. 